Hello, everybody. Today we are going to learn the package called underscore thread, and check some main information about threading in Python. Underscore thread module is low level threading API. Let's see at the process in Python. We have one main process with main thread in it. The package underscore thread can separate that main thread to several separated ones. The first thread, the second and the third. What methods the module consists? If we call the built-in Python method dir, we see all methods of the module. Parameters and classes. The module underscore thread consists, parameters, classes, default package parameters, methods. Let's take a glance at the main of them. Timeout underscore max parameter. The maximum value allowed for the timeout parameter of lock.acquire. Specifying a timeout greater than this value will raise an overflow error. By default this parameter equals 4,294,967 seconds. You can change it. Error class. Raised runtime error and returns runtime error class. Our lock class. Creates a lock class with acquire and release methods to lock thread. Lock type class. This is the type of lock object. Interrupt main function is used for interrupting the main thread and raised the keyboard interrupt error. Exit function. Raised the system exit exception. When not caught, this will cause the thread to exit silently. Allocate lock function. Returns a new lock object. The lock is initially unlocked. Get ident function. Returns the thread identifier of current thread. Start new thread method creates the new thread and returns it identifier. It takes function as the first argument and functions parameters as the second. Main methods of the underscore thread dot lock object returned from our lock class and allocate lock method. Lock object consists three main methods. Acquire for acquires the lock unconditionally, takes two parameters, blocking and timeout. If the blocking argument is present, the action depends of its value. If false, the lock is only acquired if it can be acquired immediately without waiting. If true, the lock is acquired unconditionally as above. If the timeout argument is present and positive, it specifies the maximum wait time in seconds before returning. A negative timeout argument specifies an unbounded wait. You cannot specify a timeout if blocking is false. Release method for release the lock, takes no parameters. Lock method returns the status of the lock, takes no parameters. Let's see the simple example of threading with the module underscore thread. Create the file with name simple thread and fill it like below. Run in terminal. As we can see the code has been executed for 6 seconds. But what happened if these three function instances we pass to the thread? After changing the simple thread file run it in terminal. The code has been executed immediately. Let's see the example when you have to write some files. Create the file named file thread and fill it like below. Run in terminal. As we can see each file takes 2 seconds to be written and code is executing during 6 seconds. Let's pass the same function to the threads. Change file and run it in terminal once more time. As we can see each file is written immediately. And run again. Sequence of file is changing. For better understand of locking create the file named lock.py fill like below. Run in terminal. You can notice how threads lock and unlock. Thank you for watching. Please, support the channel by like to let the more people see this video. Leave comment. Share. Subscribe to the channel. Be safe. Bye.